Hey there, it's Dave Pena of Revenue.com, coming at you with another quick real estate investing tip. Uh, today I'm on the beautiful British Columbia uh, BC Ferries, one of many across the uh, great province of ours, well, on the west coast, of course. And uh, hopefully it's not too noisy or distracting for you, but today I just want to quickly um, answer a question that we were asked from one of our students recently about cap rates. Uh, capitalization rates and real estate investing or, or using cap rates as a measure to determine whether a property will cash flow or not for you. Um, I don't want to get too involved in terms of what a cap rate is, CAP, a capitalization rate. Basically it is the net operating income of a property divided by the purchase price. And usually it's a percentage, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent. And the higher the percentage, the greater cash flow potentially you have from a property. Um, how I answered the question from our uh, student was uh, they were told to use a cap rate from their real estate um, uh, agent. And the agent said, oh, you got to use a cap rate when you're looking at properties. Well, the problem with using cap rates on residential real estate is most residential real estate, and by residential I mean four units or less in a property. The problem with that is that um, most properties aren't valued that way. Most properties are valued by comparable, similar properties in the neighborhood, same square footage, etc., etc. The problem with the cap rate is you have to be aware of what all the expenses are on any given number of comparable properties, and you won't necessarily know that. A realtor won't necessarily know that because people look at residential real estate from uh, comparable properties, what they're worth, and the rent that it'll give them versus their total expenses. So it's very, very hard to compare a duplex over here with five other comparable duplexes because you won't have that information on those five other duplexes to be able to figure out what the average cap rate is are on those five duplexes. Cap rates are usually used on larger apartment buildings and uh, even more specifically on like office buildings, retail, um, because of the structure of the deals, um, it, it's, it's more well known what the income and expenses are because you have leases in place and all, and you have financial statements done by the um, by the, the owners. So a lot of that is easier to figure out. So the point of this uh, um, tip is don't use cap rates when you're looking at residential real estate. And again, I want to clarify: four units or less. You really have to look at what the rent is. Find out what the expenses are, what is your financing cost, and does it cash flow? Simple as that. And then of course you just want to compare that to similar properties that have sold recently. Simple as that. So keep it simple on your residential real estate investing. I'm Dave Peniak with Revenue.com.